There's one. There's a good fish. We got one. Right along the spillway right there. See dude. What's going on everyone? So today I'm doing something very different. I'm doing all land based. I'm leaving the boat back at the dock and I have one rod with me with literally one jig head and a pack of DOA cows and Z-mans and I wanna see if I can explore some spots by, by foot really and see if I can find some fish. Before I get to the first spot, I just wanna say that if you recognize any of these spots, please do not just comment where it is. We, like you don't need to give the exact location just kind of keep it to yourself and go from there we don't need to comment exactly where these spots are but i'm here at the first spot now so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the rod grab all my stuff and then head over and i'll meet you over there so i made it to the first spot right here it's a little spillway where this lake is dumping out all the extra water right into this little canal right here i'm assuming that the water in the lake is a little bit warmer than the water in the bay because of all the cold temperatures we'd have and so i'm hoping all the snook and redfish are stacked up right here and also picking off the bait that are going through over the over the spillway so let's see what we can get baby snook right here. This thing is probably like 14 inches, so I'll get the quick release on him, but that's a good start. So you saw last time I had the GoPro on my head when I was here and you're probably wondering, oh, where's the footage from that? Well, last time I was here, I guess I accidentally put it down next to the backpack and didn't put it in the backpack and left without it. And by the time I realized that it was gone, I came over here to try and look for it again and someone had already picked it up. So I had to run and get a brand new GoPro. So lost all the footage from that snook and everything, but <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That's why you don't leave your stuff in public places like this. But, oh well, we're gonna see if we can get some fish. I'm gonna start a little top water, see if anything bites on that. So everyone I've talked to that fishes this spot tells me to fish it on a high tide. And that's exactly what I have right now. You can see it's pretty high right now, even relative last time I came here. So I'm gonna see if that really pays off. There's a turtle right here. What are you doing, buddy? You get washed in from the lake? Seems like there's a good amount of bait fish. Since the water's so deep, I think I'm gonna go ahead and change it already. Put on like a little swim bait or something. So all I'm tying on here is a one eighth ounce jig head. I'm gonna put a little Z-Man paddle tail on there. See if we can get some soap with that. So I also have some weighted worm hooks so I can fish these baits weedless if I get snagged on the bottom again because again this is like my only jig head I have with me. I also have those weedless hooks so I can try that if this doesn't work. There we go. Give this a shot. Oh, I got bit there. Dang it. Dang it. Let's get back in there. Is that another fish? I think that was another fish. That felt weird. I didn't feel like a snook. I felt like multiple hits, like a, like a snapper or something. We run one right along the spillway. We got one. There we go. Right along the spillway right there. 
What is that? Is that a bass? No, that's a snook. I thought it was a bass at first. A little snook. There he goes. I'll take that. I didn't really want to have to deal with him. That was like a 16, 17 inch snook. He didn't scuff my lineup at all either. Perfect. He absolutely clobbered that. Oh, I got bit there. Dang it. All right, right on this, right on this line of the water coming in. I do have a little fray up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and retie. I actually do have a little fray. All right, I'm gonna go try fishing the other side. All right, let's try over here. That's cut off. That's cut off. That's weird. We got airplanes, we got cars going by. Audio is probably gray right now. So I went ahead and put a little Z-Man on a weighted worm hook right here. So it's like completely weedless right there. It's kind of a nice little setup. I'm gonna see if that helps me not get snagged anymore. I'm gonna try just slow rolling it. See how that works. All right, I'm gonna go on the other side again, try over there. We're good. I don't even know where I'm casting. I'm just sending it in under there and reeling it back. There's one. There's a good fish. A little snook right there. Little guy again. I heard there's some big ones here, so that's what I'm looking for, but hey, I won't complain if I'm catching fish. Come on up here, dude. Yeah, nice little snook right there. They're so cold because this water temperature is getting real low. Little snook, perfect. Little snook right there, just casting it under this bridge. He's in a little Z-Man, just piped it. Obviously, this isn't the size I'm looking for here, but I'll take it if fish are biting, so let's get the release on them. See you, dude. Awesome. Again, this is why you should check your leader after every time you catch a snook. He frayed it up pretty good, so I'm gonna retie. All right, just retied. Ready to go again. Uh, I'm gonna go back and try that other side one more time. Apparently like the best time to come here is right after a rain on a high tide, which makes sense because a lot of rain, this lake is gonna get real full and it's gonna really start dumping out of here. Now high tide, there's also just enough water in here to hold all these fish. I haven't been able to time it right with rain and tides and everything, but I got a high tide right now. I'm still catching fish. Oh my God, I got hit immediately. I feel like it would be pretty cool to come here with some live bait and try that. Especially if I can time it right with the, the rain and a good tide and if I can come here with live bait too. Either some like big greenbacks or, or mullet or something like that. Maybe even shrimp, I don't know. Just try some live bait. Or maybe even something freshwater like some shiners or something and just drip those back because that's why the fish are here. They're waiting for the things to flow out of the out of the lake into here. So maybe getting some like golden shiners or something and trying that on a good rain and high tide could be the, the way to get these snook. Also, I feel like if you put a, a mullet or a greenback in front of their face, no matter where they are, they're gonna look at it and probably eat it. If you guys have any suggestions on which live bait you think would be best in here, because I really don't know what what would be best. Comment down below and I'll see if I can give it a shot. Oh, I just got slammed. 
No. That would have been perfect timing. So I didn't end up getting the big fish I was trying to get today, but hey, it still looks like a really good spot. And if you're wondering like how to find spots like this, I'd recommend going on Google Earth. That's like my best way that I do it. Just go on Google Earth, look for any place that looks cool and just go out there and explore and see if it has any potential. And this one really did. And also I've heard about this spot from a couple other people and obviously it's producing a little bit, but I didn't really get any of the big ones that are apparently here. So. I gotta come back apparently when it rains and it's high tide and I'll get on some of those fish hopefully. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.